Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. I have already covered how to use the blue pill as a mouse for your computer. Today in this video, I will show you guys, how can we use it as a keyboard. This video is divided into two halves. First half will show some simple usage of keyboard. And in the second half, I will show some application using an actual keypad. So let's start by creating the project in Cube IDE first. I am fast forwarding this part, as it is a very common thing at this point. Now the basic setup is complete. Select the USB, and choose device FS. Leave everything to default here. Now in the USB device, select the class as HID class. You can leave everything default here too, but I am going to make this small change. This way computer will recognize the device as SDM32 keyboard. That's all here. Let's go to the clock setup now. It have sorted out everything, but I will run the MCU at 72 MHz. Let's click save to generate the project. Here is our main file. This theme looks a bit ugly, so I am going to change it. It looks better now. First of all, open the USPD, HID.C file. We need to make some changes there. Scroll down to HID configuration descriptor. Here is the line, we need to change. As you can see, 2 is for the mouse, 1 for the keyboard. By default, the code will always generate the setup for the mouse, so we need to change this to 1, to use it as a keyboard. Make sure that, you make the changes in FS configuration only, and not in any other configurations. Now scroll down to mouse report descriptor. This here is the descriptor for the mouse, and we need to change it with the keyboard descriptor. I have the keyboard descriptor downloaded right here. You can google it, or I will leave the link to it in the description. Copy these descriptors, and replace them with the mouse descriptors. We will leave the function name to mouse itself, because other functions might be linked with it, and we don't want to mess things up. Also note that, the size here is 63. Looks like I need to build it first. Okay now I can access it. Change the size to 63. That's all for this setup. Remember that, whenever you generate the project from CubeMX, you need to do this all over, because CubeMX will generate for the mouse again. Let's go back to our main file. First of all include the USBD, HID.h file. We need to declare the USB device handle in our main file. Make sure you declare it as an extern type.
Now before we create a structure for the keyboard data, let's see the keyboard protocol. Here in case of keyboard, we need to send 8 bytes of data. This data contains the modifier keys, second byte is reserved, then key code 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The modifier keys can be all these keys, listed here. Let's create a structure to store these 8 bytes. I will call it Keyboard HID. Let's initialize the structure with all zeros. Looks like one zero is missing. Now let's see the key codes. Here is the list of all the key codes that you can use. Like 0 cross 0 4 for A, 5 for B, 6 for C, etc. It's a huge list, and I will leave the link for this PDF in the description. I will just send an A, for now. Let's build it once before going forward. Looks like I spelled keyboard wrong here. Now everything is fine. I will send the value to the key code 1. I am sending an A here. This basically means that the A is pressed. And now send the report. Wait for 50 milliseconds. And now send the key code 1 as 0, to indicate that the key was released. And I want this process to repeat every one second. Let's build this. We have some warning about the structure, but that's okay. Let's flash it to the MCU now. Let me open the device list also. Now I am connecting the USB. Seems like some descriptor issue. I will try again. You can see here, the device has been recognized as the SDM32 keyboard. And it's sending an A, every one second. You can see, wherever I click, it's printing every second, just like as if it is a keyboard. Things are working alright. Now let's try some more combinations. This time I am going to use the left shift modifier. This will print the uppercase letters. To use the left shift, the bit 1 must be 1, so the modifier value will be 0 cross 0 2.
Let's write the 0 cross 0 2 to the modifier key. I will leave the key code 1 to print A, but this time it will print uppercase A. As we pressed the left shift, we need to release it also. Let's use one more key code. We can use six key codes at the same time, so the keyboard can print six keys at the same time. I will just print two keys together. I am sending, B also. Let's build now, and flash. The keyboard is connected. And it's printing uppercase A, and B at the same time. So everything is working perfect. Like I said, we can send 6 key codes at the same time, so it can print 6 letters or numbers at the same time. This is it for the basic tutorial. Next part of this video will cover an actual application of keyboard, and here I am going to use a 4x4 keypad, as a keyboard. I have already covered how to interface the keypad with STM32. You can check out the video on the top right corner. I am going to use the same code for this tutorial also. First of all, I need to add pins for the keypad. Select 4 input pins for the columns, and 4 output pins for the rows. Use the pull-up resistance for the input pins. I have already covered all this in the keypad video, watch that, if you don't understand the setup. Click save to generate the new project again. We need to modify the hid.c file again. I will fast forward this part of the video. So, this is the main file from that keypad code. I am going to use these functions as it is. In the while loop, we will read the key, which was pressed on the keypad. If the key pressed is a 1, we need to send the key code for 1. If we look in the PDF, the hex value for 1, is 0 cross 1 e. So we will put that in the key code 1. Similarly, write the values for other numbers too. Here is the final code for numbers. Now, if the key pressed is capital A, we need to first press the shift, and then press A. Similarly, we will write for other letters also. Because this keypad have A, B, 
C, and D, so we need to write for them too. We also need to write for the star, and for the hash. Star is basically, shift pressed with the number 8, and hash is shift with the number 3. That's all. Now we need to send this information. Wait for 50 milliseconds. Send the key released report also. And I am going to comment out this code. Let's build it. We don't have any errors. During testing, I found out that the key value is always 0 cross 0 1, so I am adding this part, that the keyboard part will only work, if the value is not 0 cross 0 1. This is not that necessary, as we do have conditions for the keys pressed. Let's flash it to the controller now. I have attached the keypad this time. The keyboard gets detected on connecting. Let's try pressing these keys now. You can see the values are printing just alright. And we can type them anywhere we want. This is it for this video. I hope you understood it. You can use any other keyboard, or any other device for this purpose also. Like you are to receive data, and then transmit to the computer as a keyboard. Well, I will leave the application up to you guys. You can download the code, the keyboard descriptor file, and the PDF from the links in the description. Keep watching, and have a nice day ahead.